Now we'll go over how to use the extension cone paralleling technique. Uh, so these are XCP holders. Uh, the easiest one to assemble usually is the the anterior one which is in in blue and so you have the bite block here the metal rod and the ring what you want to do probably the easiest way is to first assemble the bite block and the metal rod and then when that's put together you want it to look like a chair formation like this or some people call it steps like this and then you put the ring on in such a way that when you look through the ring you can see the bite block in the middle and we have a couple um, different sensors that are being used uh, nowadays um, uh, what I'm going to put in now is a PSP plate it's wrapped it's photostimulable phosphor plate put it in like this and then you look through the ring and you can see the plate there and then so for the anterior teeth you would put this in like this and expose the x-ray this way and then change out the film or sensor and uh, get a new one and do the canine here center on the canine have the canine tooth biting right in the middle of that bite block area here same thing for this one for the lower teeth you would just flip this facing the lower teeth, do the middle, do the canine, and the other canine. Um, common sort of misconfigurations with, with this instrument is, well the, the more basic one is to put the PSP plate correctly. So you put the black side to the ring always. If you put it this way, you're going to end up with like a metal water with a watermark sort of a circle on the image uh, it's not going to look pretty and um, this is a regular film uh, so you would with the film you would put the solid white side to the ring um, and, and then the most common sort of misconfiguration when this gets put together sometimes people put the bite block this way and I call it looking like a big dipper so you don't want you don't want the big dipper view because then you look through here obviously you don't see the the, the bite block that's it